Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Hannah Carthage and this is another Rome Total War uh, multiplayer battle. So uh, I'm playing as the Carthaginians and my army consists of um, from my infantry. My main body of infantry consists of six units of the Sacred Band infantry. And then on either flank I have one unit of Peony infantry. Uh, Alright, and then on either flank, um, back behind my main infantry line, I have two units of Iberian infantry on either side, so in total uh, four units of Iberians. Um, I decided to bring these guys, I mean they're fairly weak infantry, but I um, usually don't see very many weak units being played on multiplayer, so I decided just to try and see um, if I could use them. I mean they're, they're decent, it's just usually don't want to bring weaker units on multiplayer, but I figured I'd try and use them. Um, they do alright in this battle. So uh, up in front I have four units of these Balearic Slingers. Um, really good Slingers. And then in back I have uh, four units of Sacred Pang Cavalry. And my general, I believe, yeah there he is, he's in my infantry line. He's kind of mixed in right there, but uh, there he is. Alright, so my opponent, he is playing as the Greek city states. And um, he has, uh, let's see here, I believe four units of these armored hoplites. And he is, his, his formation is generally called a, like a noob square. Um, it's where you just put all your mana square and you have a whole bunch of archers in the middle. Um, I don't know. It, it works okay. It's if you know how to break it open, it actually is fairly weak, um, and you'll see that here. But uh, so yeah, he has um, four units of these armored hoplites, two in front, two on the side, and the rest of his infantry consists of five units of these Spartan hoplites. And uh, if you are wondering, um, I think I said this in a previous video, but uh, I have um, a mod that uh, created by the developers of Rome Total War that changed the look of the Spartans um, to make them a little more realistic and uh, I like it way better than the original skin so that's why the Spartan Hobbit is different than what you may be used to seeing um, anyway so in the middle of his square he has two units of these heavy peltists and if I didn't say it he has five units of these Spartan Hobbits I forgot to mention that I believe but anyways like I said he has two units of these heavy peltists not sure why I brought those I would have just brought more archers. And then he has uh, one unit of Cretan archers and one unit of Rodian slingers, which are almost as good as Valeric slingers, but not quite. Um, and then back here, uh, for cavalry, he has two units of General's bodyguard and one unit of um, General's armor bodyguard, and that's where his general is. Uh, Greece is great for infantry, but um, their cavalry is not very good. And so, if you want heavy cavalry for Greece, the only thing you can do is just bring a whole bunch of uh, generals, bodyguard units. So that's that's why this guy only has that instead of um, Greek cavalry, which is just light cav, but consists of more uh, men in each unit. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move um, my Balearic slingers up, and uh, they do take kind of a beating. And uh, I made the mistake. Oh look, um, I guess I was wrong. He, uh, I thought he had more units than that. He actually has. Let's see here, two units of Rodian slingers and two units of Cretan archers. So I guess I was wrong with that. Uh, I apologize. Um, they were kind of mixed together, so it was a little hard to tell what he had. But anyways, um, he's tearing apart my uh, skirmishers here because I made the mistake of. Um, targeting his hoplites instead of the archers and slingers behind. So, um, but he's rushing up these guys, and um, they're gonna get torn apart because I have all of my slingers focusing on them. In the meantime, I'm moving up my infantry. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on back here. Alright, that one. There they are. 
Alright, these guys are down to 14. There they go, they're broken and running. See, they left most of them behind there. Alright, in the meantime, though, uh, his men are still kind of tearing apart mine, but now it looks like they're still just a little more infantry. No, maybe not. So I now, so because he had um, the noob square, I moved both Peony infantry to one side, and uh, I have two Iberians still on either flank. Um, I gotta stop saying, oh, I'm sorry guys. But anyways, uh, he is, because he has the noob square, what I'm gonna do is just focus all of my infantry on just this front area. I'm not I'm not going to try to flank him, I'm just going to try to break his front line and throw as much infantry uh, at his as I can and break it open and hit his men from behind, maybe get my cavalry in there uh, but um, it's going to go a little different because as you'll see he'll end up uh, breaking the square open but by himself Alright, so I'm gonna. This is a minor uh, mistake on my part. I meant to bring in my Iberians uh, as support and not front line, but because I, I told them to run, thinking that uh, by the time my pikes got there, they would have caught up to them and be able to support them. But because they they were running and the pikes weren't. They got there ahead of time, ahead of the pikes, and so they took a lot more casualties than I meant for them to take. So these first couple librarians, uh, they do all right. I mean, there's enough of them that I mean they get some kills, but they're gonna get fairly wiped out, and they're gonna break. At least one of them comes back into the fight, though. So he's now broken the square open, and is now uh, bringing more infantry into the infantry fight. He's flanking my guys a little here. What I didn't understand how he set up his uh, square was he had um, the weaker armor top lights in front and his Spartans behind. That's going to be a slight mistake on his part because I'm going to be able to take out um, pretty much these front units before he can really get more infantry into the fight. And uh, so that basically at least gives me a slight advantage of taking out more of his, more of his infantry and he's kind of moving his in one at a time which since mine are all bunched up are allowing me to get some pretty good kills his are more spread out and so not you kind of have to balance your man uh, between how far you spread out your pipes is if they're spread too far out not enough of them are, are in the fight but if they're not spread out enough then they can be easily flanked it's a a balancing thing. Anyways, um, so I have my cavalry running around back here, <laughs> trying to tear up his uh, archers and slingers. He's going to bring in his cavalry, but because mine outnumber him, they're going to easily take them out. <laughs> and I believe that I have uh, better cavalry than he does. Because even with the general's bodyguards, he really just does not have good cavalry. So these Iberians are running. I believe they're going to come back. They were flanking these Spartans, but Iberians and Spartans aren't going to last. So now it basically becomes a slugging match between my infantry and his until I can get my cavalry to finish dealing with his and with his archers and I can start hammer and handling him. In the meantime my uh, my slingers are still firing. Pretty sure probably getting a lot I probably got a lot of um, friendly fire kills just because I'm but my slingers are slinging directly over the heads of my own men. I, I'm getting hits, I'm getting kills, but I've probably got a lot of friendly fire kills with my slingers. Alright, so I finally dealt with his archers, and I'm bringing in my cavalry here. He got some of the Spartans turned around in time, so I did take some casualties there, but I'm gonna... One unit of Spartans broke, and I... 
pull my cavalry out, and he's gonna try to trap my cavalry with this Spartan unit. It's not gonna work like he hoped, but he's gonna try. So now it's basically one Spartan unit against like three units of Sacred Man, which is gonna do great. So I hit these guys in the flank, in my cavalry, and uh, it's the opportunity he's been looking for. He's gonna march these guys forward. I'm gonna wait until the last second on this fight and then draw my cavalry out and just as I'm drawing them out this unit Spartans breaks which is great and then I can move this infantry forward and it's just a matter of numbers now so I mean, every, anytime you have a slugging match between infantry you're gonna have a lot of bodies on the ground <laughs> I don't know it makes the battle all the more cool I think so anyways now it's, it's all like four or five of the units here. One Iberian unit is breaking, <clears throat> but they are light infantry against this unit of Spartans, and there's only 22 of them left. So when I charge my cavalry in, <clears throat> it's just, they just instantly break. <laughs> and this unit of Iberians has come back, so I'm throwing them in this fight, just any extra units. When it comes to fighting Spartans, it's good. <clears throat> These guys are slowly losing. Now, because this fight is won over here, I can now bring all of this infantry over. So he's going to try to pull these Spartans out, and they're going to break. So it was actually uh, bad, a bad idea on his part to pull his troops out. But, anyway, look at all these bodies, it's just it's incredible when you have just, uh, when you have just a slugging match between infantry. But, that's one of the reasons why I like this game. It's just, I don't know, it's just really cool to see that. And just like, look at the damage that's been done. So anyways... So it's basically just a cleaning operation from here. Uh, he has uh, a few remaining units, some marchers who are out of ammo, he's charging them in, uh, basically just cleaning them up with my cavalry. I might take, I think I might end up taking my infantry out of uh, pike formation. I'm rushing my skirmishers down just to kind of finish cleaning up. But he's going to admit defeat here in a moment. And so I'm just going to cut it here because I mean, it's kind of boring just to watch a cleanup operation. I do end up killing his general. But anyways, I'm going to cut out here and then uh, when the battle's over I'll show you the results. Okay, so, um, my army, I deployed 1,505 men, and had 1,190 kills, and I had 737 remaining, so I lost about half my force, which is to, which, um, attributes just to how tough Spartans are, and how hard it is to kill them, uh, the fact that I was fighting downhill, so I had that advantage, I had the advantage of numbers, at pretty much every, with pretty much both fights, uh, both infantry fights that were going on, and yeah, he still took out half of my force, even with all those things going against him, so. Um, and he deployed 1,325 men, had 733 kills with 119 remaining. So, uh, good game to my opponents, and I uh, hope you liked it. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks.